Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your domain with Amazon SES. And one of the advantage of verifying your domain is that you don't have to verify every single email over and over again to start sending emails using Amazon SES. Because if you verified the domain, then you can use any alias with a single SMTP credential. What do I mean by that? Let me just simplify this. So if you have a domain, let's say sendmails.io, and you want to send an email from anant at the rate sendmails.io then you just need a single SMTP credential through which you can send an email from anant at the rate sendmails.io and you can create any other alias and send emails from that uh, email account whether it is anant uh, support at the rate sendmails.io john at the rate sendmails.io so what do I mean by this is that with a single SMTP credential or API credential you are able to send emails uh, with Amazon SES, right? You don't have to verify every single email over and over again, right? So in order to verify your domain with Amazon SES, you need to first search for AWS simple email service. So let me just search over your Amazon simple email service. Now, once you click over there, it'll take you to the Amazon SES dashboard. And on the left hand corner, you can see, uh, you need to click on verified identities. Once you click over here, you will find all your connected domains. So for you, it might not show any domain because you've not connected any website with Amazon SES yet. So we need to uh, create a new identity. So click on create identity button. Now you get two options, whether you want to verify your domain or email address. If you ver verify your email address, then you will only be able to send emails from that email address. But if you verify your domain, then you can create any alias, which means like I said before, if you, you are, if you're using example.com, then you can create an alias as anant at the rate example.com, john at the rate example.com without creating multiple SMTP credentials or multiple API keys. With a single API key SMTP credential, you can send emails with this domain's alias. So I'm gonna hit and select domain. And for this example, we're gonna take SAS Birdie as an example. So let me just put sasbirdie.com. Now you just need to check, use a custom mail from domain. And here you need to put a subdomain. Do not worry so much about what to put over here. You can type it anything. Like you can put server, SES, mailing, right? For, for me, let's just put something very generic. I'm gonna put mailing.sasbody.com. Now here we are putting uh, choosing use default mail from domain. Do not bother about these things. Now just click on advanced DKIM settings so that we can also create our DKIM credentials. Choose easy DKIM and choose RSA 2048 bit. That's it. Now just click on create identity and you have uh, created those records which you need to paste inside your DNS hosting provider. So over here you can see I'm getting these uh, DKIM record that I need to paste inside my name server and second is I'm getting these mail from domain which I need to copy and paste inside my DNS zone editor. Now no matter which hosting provider you are using everyone is going to give you a DNS zone editor. I am using Hostinger, but if you are using GoDaddy, Bluehost or any other hosting provider, just search for that hosting provider's name and put a DNS editor like this. I can search for GoDaddy DNS zone editor and I will get a complete tutorial on how to find GoDaddy's DNS zone editor. But for Hostinger, I already pulled off my DNS zone editor, which is over here. And this is where I need to make changes. So this is my sasbody.com DNS zone editor where I can add more records. Now what I need to do is very simple. From here, I need to copy these DNS records and paste it inside Hostinger, which I'm gonna show you step by step. One thing to keep in mind, most hosting providers while copying CNAME records automatically append your domain, which is sasbody.com for us. So make sure when you're copying the CNAME record, you only copy up to a part where it ends, you know, till here. 
right after that dot sasbury dot com will automatically be appended by your hosting provider so all we need to do is just copy till this part let that sasbury dot com be over there so I'm gonna copy this head over to my hosting tab now choose C name and I'm gonna paste it over here that's it now I need to copy the value and I will paste it over here and add a record very simple right now this is exactly what we need to do for all the other records left. So I'm going to copy this, create a C name record. I'm going to paste this. Let's go back and paste the value, right? This is the second record and let's take the third one and again paste it over here. So let me just go to C name record, put it over here. I'm going to copy the value paste it over here and add record. That's it, right? So we've already added all our DKIM records and it should get verified in couple of hours depending on your domain provider's propagation time. So uh, now we need to copy the custom mail from DNS records, which is over here, These this MX record and this TXT record. Again, the uh, sasbody.com like the domain is automatically going to be appended so i just need to copy the mailing part and over here this time we need to choose mx instead of cname so i'm going to paste mailing here the mail server is this one feedback smtp over here right priority is by default 10 over here which is what we see over here so i'm not going to make any changes and add a record that's it now for the txt record, I need to copy the same thing, mailing, right over here in the DNX record editor, I'm gonna choose txt, let me just paste it over here, and I'm gonna copy the value and put it over here. That's it. So I have added all the records, I've added the DKIM record and the MX record, I'm ready to go, and my domain should be verified depending on my DNS zone editor. For Hostinger, it propagates really quickly. So let me just refresh the page and see if the you know changes are reflecting over here. So over here, you can see, I just added the uh, you know DNS record and it is now verified. My DKIM is already verified. My MX record is already verified. But in your case, it might not get verified as quickly as this because you know, usually a, a DNS provider takes 24 to 48 hours to propagate the changes. So have some patience, come back like in uh, one or two days if it doesn't reflect over here. If it still doesn't reflect, then make sure you contact your hosting provider and see what's going wrong. But in our case, we can see over here, we successfully verified our domains. So now if I go to my verified identities, you can see uh, sasbody.com says verified identity that's it so that's how you connect your um, domain your website with amazon ses